everyone, it's Pam with Organizer AZ 911 and welcome back to another episode of my weekly weight loss vlog series. And in this uh, video, I wanted to take, a, uh, take the time to answer a question that I, I received from someone who's been watching this video series and found it inspiring to go back and exercise herself. And you know what, that's the whole reason I started this weight loss vlog series on my own personal journey because I know there are others out there like me that have been fighting this battle and I was hoping to make it an area where you could ask questions, get some answers, we're all in this together, kind of. It really helps when you have a support system. So here's what she wrote. She said, I would love to hear some tips on five minute exercise bursts that I can do at work. I can't do anything at my desk, so ideas for stepping away to a stairwell or an isolated room would be helpful. Thanks. And you know what, that is such a good question to ask because you know what, I've seen all these videos and uh, picture demonstrations on all these exercises you can do at your desk, right? And I even posted one today on my Facebook page uh, that gave several exercises you can do while sitting at your desk. And the link will be below to that Facebook post so you can see those. But you know what, I got to thinking, especially after reading this question, it's not exactly a professional look an employer might be looking for in their office, having all their employees, you know, doing arm lifts and leg lifts and stuff at their desk. Um, especially if they have customers or clients that routinely come into the office, they don't want to see employees at their desk doing exercises. So thank you for submitting this question. Um, it is an excellent one and I want to address that uh, today. Okay, so let's say you have a stairwell that's accessible to you um, that hopefully doesn't lock behind you the minute you close it and that is well lit and safe for you to go into. And if that's the kind of scenario you have in a stairwell at your office, then that would be a, a great place to get these little five minute bursts of exercise in. Okay, and as a matter of fact, that's how I started with my exercise with Christy when she noticed that I couldn't get up two flights of steps with nearly passing out my very first day. Um, she made uh, going up and down stairs a target of my exercise and I really got a good workout with it. Okay, so you know how with a stairwell you have a flight of stairs, then a landing, and then usually another flight of stairs going down. That sets up the perfect scenario to get a little exercise in. So, for example, you're in your stairwell, use the stairs to do your cardio. So you go down the flight of stairs, when you get to the landing down below, maybe do 10 squats right there after you finish. After you finish your 10 squats, maybe leg raises. You can either do knee to elbow, or you can just stand there and do kicks and try to touch your toes. That's what she had me do. Toe touches, you know, do those. 10 of each of them. Then continue down the next flight of stairs. When you get down to the next landing, you can work on your arms, maybe doing push-ups against the wall, okay? You can work more on your legs. Again, bracing yourself against the wall. You can do leg lifts out to the side, okay? You can also face the wall and do donkey kicks. When you finish with doing a set of 10 of each of those, head up, back up the stairs to the landing, do 10 more squats, 10 more knee touches or kicks, whichever you'd like, and 10 more toe touches. Keep repeating that as long as you have for your five minute or 10 minute break. And hopefully that'll get your heart pumping getting up and down those stairs and also get a little strength training in while you're at it. Okay, I hope you found those exercises helpful and that you'll be able to work those in to any stairwell or side room you have at your office just to get your heart going during the day because sitting eight hours straight is not good for any of us, right? And thank you very much to the viewer who submitted that question. I am welcoming any additional questions you may have out there that, you know what, you got something that's just not working right for you and you're looking for some fresh eyes to look at it, uh, please leave any questions you have in the comments below. Christy and I are looking over those and we'd be happy to answer those questions in future videos. And on a on a personal note, on my own weight loss journey, sadly this week I didn't lose any weight. Um, I do know why that was. Um, there was two factors that um, had prevented me from really doing the best I could with it. Um, and the biggest factor was I didn't get much sleep. Um, I've had this very huge influx of 
business related things come in and um, so my way of coping with that when I don't go to the fridge anymore <laughs> is to just stay up late to get the work done and I was averaging about four hours of sleep if that a night this whole last week um, so that is never a good thing to do because here's the thing that I had to realize um, normally I have like a 300 calorie breakfast and a 100 calorie snack in the morning then I have a 300 calorie uh, lunch and then a 100 calorie snack mid-afternoon and then I have a 300 calorie dinner and maybe a 100 calorie snack around 7-ish um, and that really works well for weight loss for me um, the problem is that when I'm staying up 20 hours there was I wasn't going to bed till 1 or 2 in the morning so suddenly I have six hours to seven hours after my last 100 calorie snack at 7 o'clock so you know in a couple of hours I was already starting to feel hungry around 9 or 10 and normally I would go to bed but I wasn't this past week and so then I'd have another 100 to 200 calorie snack uh, and then by midnight again three hours later two or three hours later I was having another 200 calories or so snack you know that took me from being 1200 calories to 1600 calories then add to it I hurt my foot this week and for two days I was pretty much off of it I couldn't walk on it and uh, that reduced my exercise and, and how much activity I got so those two things this week really I didn't gain anything thank goodness I'm still at 38 pounds lost so that is a victory considering the setbacks I had with the extreme work with the no sleep and uh, the extra meals that you know you almost need it's it's again your your body will want that if you're not going to sleep it's going to want to have another snack and even though I kept it healthy that's still calories so that's didn't mean to ramble on about it but that's what happened with my weight loss so I didn't have any weight loss but I didn't gain anything so in that respect I kind of consider it a success because I made it through a crisis time which in the past would have led me right to the fridge so we are happy on that end and my foot's healed and I'm walking a lot better so I can get back to the more of the walking I was doing uh, as well so that's a good thing now um, talking about future videos moving forward I wanted to also let you know that I am taking two weeks off on uploading any videos to my YouTube channel I am trying to reorganize things uh, it, not only in my business but with this uploading uh, these videos and um, I need some time to just kind of shift things around and make it all work and then also have time to record more videos and edit the videos and upload the videos so I'm taking two weeks off to get everything organized even organizers sometimes have to readjust things again and um, I will be uploading as of uh, about the beginning of November I will be uh, uploading all sorts of videos at that time we are going to have Tuesday tip in a minute or about a minute but those are my Tuesday tip in a minute my Fridays will have regular organizing tips not necessarily in a minute but they will be uh, a little bit more detailed organizing tips I will be having regular Saturday uploads of my fab or flop series where I put organizing and cleaning hacks to the test and then Sundays will be reserved for my healthy organizing Sundays my weight loss vlog videos so I will be uploading four videos every week starting in November so please be sure to check back on that but as of next Sunday I will not have an update but the following Sunday I will okay and again if you have any more weight loss uh, questions or exercising questions or food prep questions please leave them in the comments below like I said Matrina Christy and I we're looking through those comments and we are looking to help we will share the answers with you on future videos okay I hope you found this vlog helpful if you did like this vlog please poke that like button below give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel welcome and please click on that red subscribe button and become part of this organizing and weight loss family I'm Pam with organizer easy 911 I'll see you in two weeks